Uh, hey, I'm Dejan Ninov. I'm design manager in Dodge Exterior. Um, also, I was also the lead designer on the Dodge Charger SRT concept. And uh, yeah, we can talk and we can go walk around the car and I'll show you everything about it. We're super proud of it. Um, it's uh, our look into the EV future for, for, for Dodge. Uh, it's, it's something, you know, when we started this project, we had to take it very serious. You know, we weren't going to do, um, we weren't going to get into the EV segment without doing it a Dodge way. It had to be, it had to be very unique. It had to be very, very much Dodge. You know, it had to feel like Dodge. You had to look like Dodge. You know, so that was that was very important to us. Um, and we really wanted to create something that's that's just very powerful and very bold looking. And uh, you know, we wanted to obviously touch onto um, our heritage uh, with this car. But we also didn't want to just do a retro car. We wanted to do something that's very much the future of Dodge um, and it, it, the way we looked at it honestly it was people that know the heritage will see elements that they, they can relate to people that don't know the heritage they'll see this spaceship on wheels going down the street um, that's very powerful and very unique to everything else that's out there you know you look nowadays you look at all the EV cars that are out there they all have the same proportion they all have sort of the same shape um, sort of the jelly bean shape, you know. We didn't want to do that. We had to keep our DNA. Um, we had to have something that's just, just so powerful. We know what it is when you go down the road. Well, you um, look at this thing and you think 68 Charger from one of the greatest design concepts ever put into production. Of course, big Dodge. Um, fantastic nailing of that retro style. But tell us what's new on this car that obviously, besides the fact that it's electrically powered and not gas powered, but there's a lot of patents on this car. There are some really cool, unique features. And I think starting even with that front splitter. Yeah, uh, there's definitely a lot of cool features we're super proud of. Um, and the, one of the big enablers for us to get going to this EV future where aero is everything um, was the R-Wing, which is also patent pending, but it, it, it allows, it gives us the opportunity to to really do something very unique and keep our DNA. And, and it sort of speaks back to the name Daytona, you know, um, which which was a car that had so much aero uh, input in it. And and so this is a, it's a great way to sort of throw back to that uh, to that era. Uh, but it just gave us, gave us so many opportunities. It's, it's really cool. You have this sort of pass through here that allows you to keep the aero shape, aero profile of the front end, but still have that blunt dodge uh, DNA look, you know. Uh, it's really cool because it sort of has the pass through, everything is hidden underneath. Um, you have the, the um, full width um, uh, DRL uh, that's very, like when you're going down, when you see it in your mirror, you, you know what it is, you know, it's very unique. And then we have the lit uh, Fratsock badge that's uh, hidden behind this lens. Again, it's very, very aero oriented. What are um, you calling that badge again? It's called the Fratzog. Um, so it, it's, it was a badge that was used, you know, from the 60s to the 70s in Dodge products. Yes, very familiar uh, to, to Dodge it, fans. It, yeah, it's a, exactly. It's, it's very, um, it's, it's actually a really cool, cool badge. And it, it, uh, back in the day, it actually, it was, it, the, the story is kind of funny because a design, designer came up with it and really it had almost no meaning except, you know, it was just really cool. And so for us, this was a great opportunity to, to kind of move us into the EV future with something that's like, that's very dramatic and it's very cool. And we can kind of bring some of that heritage back and uh, into, into this new era. Now I see a few lights inside there. Are those turn signals like right inside the, the gap, right? Yeah, those right are there. Those projectors. Projector. So, yeah, which is, which is really cool because they're pretty much hidden. You know, the, you don't really notice them until you look close. And really, the, the main element is the, the, the light signature on the front. So those and are your headlights? Yeah, those are the headlights. They're, they're, they're hidden. They kind of, again, it's a, a little bit of a play to the Daytona, the old Daytona, which had the pop-up lights. Yep. And uh, so in a way, it's, it's, a, it's a cool, cool modern take on, on, on that. Um, but it's a really, really neat feature. You know, you can kind of see all the way through, even through this view here, you can, you can kind of see see through. So when you walk into your car, it'll be just a very unique experience that no one really, no one else really has, has out there. Um, we worked a lot with our aero team as well to, uh, um, to make it functional. 
and it's a, it's it's you know very very specific to to how you execute that and how you do it and um, but yeah besides that as once as as we start moving around the car um, you know we have the, the grill here, here which has these vertical elements which is sort of uh, an element that talks back to the 68 charger you know uh, so it's uh, it's very cool very simple and that was uh, that was a big part of us with this with this car when we were designing it we didn't, we wanted to create something that's just a very simple statement very powerful simple statement there's nothing here that's fussy you know there's no design just for design's sake everything is very functional um, it's 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 very purposeful for the car and you know it looks like this could be sitting on a show before floor right now <laughs> it doesn't look like a concept car of old where nothing open works well you know i think we we've, we've kind of said before we don't do science experiments we so this is our preview to the future um, yeah. For now, it's just a concept. And so, like, you can see the dramatic shoulder that's very, very much kind of like the, the 68 had a very dramatic shoulder. Um, you have the sweeping front arch, sweeping rear arch. And uh, as, as we walk around, we have a lot of cool elements, like the mirrors uh, that, you know, are very aero designed as well. Uh, we have these wheels that we're very proud of as well. Uh, they sort of take on something that's very technical, kind of almost talks to, to, to you know, uh, back in the day, to, to, to our heritage foods, but it turned in a very sort of modern aero, aero way. And now in the back end, so oh, this, is, this is our uh, exhaust uh, system. Okay, you these. old eyes are not looking too good. <laughs> But yes, yeah, so that's the that's we so, just heard that yeah you yeah, played yeah. that for us and gave us a demonstration. It exactly another feature that uh, we are more, uh, it's patent pending as well, um, and um, really that's. Again, a lot of elements that that kind of talk to the, our heritage, but in you know done in a very unique way. Um, and um, is there any way to see inside the truck? Yes. Yeah, we can do that. I've heard that the so, rear seats fold down, and they are actually very roomy. Yep. Here we go. Look at that. So this is the most. The, the hatch really allowed us to create a lot of space, and uh, it's it's the most amount of storage you can get in a in a car you know in uh, in a sedan of any sort it really is it's, is it's great once you fold the seats down it, it, it creates this really open space you can put all kinds of stuff as a matter of fact one of the I did a sketch uh, when we were doing this project where I put my dog in, in, in the back you know and uh, it was just it, it gives you those opportunities that uh, uh, you normally wouldn't have with yeah, with, uh, it's uh, the interior is really cool. Another um, design that we're very proud of. Uh, it's got all these cool elements. Again, a lot of it is very future driven, uh, but with also elements that that speak to to our heritage. You have these vertical lines again, the theme that we have in the exterior and the interior, and, and kind of that connects to both uh, together. Uh, they're super cool, and you can kind of see how the pattern just sort of gets wider and bigger and fades away towards the back it's, and then all that is lit up uh, and then you have the Daytona batch there. And it looks like we're sitting in a carbon fiber tub if I didn't know any better. Yeah it's a carbon fiber tub um, and then actually there's um, circuit board patterns on it which um, sort of kind of go around the car and basically connects uh, everyone in a way um, to each other uh, which is a pretty cool element. This roof is incredible, all glass. The all glass roof, we're very proud of that too. It's, um, it gives you just so much more visual space inside. And uh, you weren't lying when you said the back seats had plenty of room. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. That's amazing. Yeah, and then we have this uh, fret top pattern that you can see on the seats, and it sort of uh, starts yeah. at the top and then fades and then uh, appears again. Um, we got a lot of cool elements going through the car that kind of connect the interior and the exterior. Wasn't one of the pen patents pending about shifting? Uh, we have the the. 
our root system as well. Um, and we have this like really cool pistol grip uh, shifter here uh, that you know talks comes back to uh, to uh, our heritage, and um, then we have this um, uh, fighter inspired, fighter jet inspired shifter. Yeah. Oh, uh, st st sorry, st star button. Uh, that it's a flip up switch, and then you have the star button in there. Oh, that is so cool. It's super cool, right? Yeah, that reminds me of Battlestar Galactica. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. mean, I, again, a lot of it. You know, we want to have this spaceship experience with this car, both interior and exterior. Um, and uh, I think we've delivered. You, you have this sort of central screen that that really is very driver oriented. Uh, everything is kind of points towards the driver. Fantastic. We have this really cool steering wheel with a flat bottom, um, very lightweight looking, very race, race inspired. Well, I can't thank you enough for showing us around the Daytona. It's just uh, hopefully one of those things that, like the Viper and like some other stuff that's come out of uh, Dodge in the past, basically makes it to production without too much more uh, work to it. <laughs> Um, we uh, we definitely love it, and uh, it's as fast as I think it's going to be. I think everyone else is going to love it too. So thanks so much for this uh, walk you. around. We really appreciate it. Yeah, I appreciate it as well. I, I enjoyed it. All right. Well, this has been Brendan with Sons of Speed. We will see you next time.